we were really curious about a phenomena that um, we see in mice and patients, uh, other animal models, when they're fed a diet that doesn't have any potassium in it, they start peeing a lot. And we wondered why that is. And we figured out that it's a resistance to that hormone that makes one uh, uh, pee a lot. So that hormone acts on cells in the kidney that cause you to retain water like you're supposed to. And when that hormone doesn't work, that water that you're supposed to retain gets put into the urine. So it was a deficiency in the way that the hormone responds. What this study also showed is the amount that potassium has to go down was a lot less than we ever thought. We thought that this was um, more or less a chronic disorder, and it took weeks, if not months, of people being on a a low potassium diet to develop this. Um, instead, what we found is people develop the disorder within days. But I think that maybe the biggest therapeutic uh, potential of this, we still need to realize. It could be that just giving back potassium um, is sufficient to reverse the disorder.